Okay, so you wanted to come to therapy because your brothers were bullying you. Well, yeah. Y yeah, they are. So, what exactly are your brothers making fun of you for? Well, see, I I'm 16 and I I've been rejected a few times by girls and I I've never really had a girlfriend. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were joking. You don't really need a girlfriend to be happy. Oh, really? Well, you kind of do, but I guess it's okay, you live. New data has suggested that half of young people in America don't have a romantic partner. Here's a quick tutorial on how to never get a girlfriend or, or boyfriend or whatever you're into. Step one, wake up whenever. In order to make sure you are single forever, you need to become obsessed with being miserable and having no direction in your life. So make sure you wake up at a time where everyone else has had a head start in the day and is already feeling good about themselves whilst you are still in bed, wishing you didn't spend the previous night eating junk food and eagerly scrolling Netflix trying to find a romantic comedy that would make you feel good about yourself. Then leave your bed, but don't make your bed. Go to the bathroom, stare at your toothbrush, but just keep walking because it's important you try and start the day loving yourself as little as possible. Step two, don't take any care of your appearance. It's important to note that you wanna look and feel like complete trash so that nobody else could possibly think of loving you. So wear the same clothes you did as yesterday. Don't shower or do any of that self-care routine rubbish. And most importantly, eat exactly what you want to. It's vital that you never eat food that you know is good for you because that will make you feel good about yourself. By eating whatever we want to, we subconsciously reinforce the idea that we're an unlovable sack of meat. This is a critical belief in making sure we stay single forever. Step three, always wait for things to happen. Never be a proactive person. Never be the person that goes out and actually tries to do the things that make them happy. Just be the person who waits. After all, if the girl or boy of your dreams is actually meant to be, then they'll come knocking on your door with a wedge of French cheese and biscuits. Anyways, the important thing is to never take action. Don't try and figure out why you are such an unlovable sack of meat. Just be a sack of meat. Because eventually it will change, and someone you have never met will be laying next to you in no time. Because that's just how things work. The world doesn't reward people that take action. The world rewards people who sit around and wait for stuff to be given to them. Step four, always say no. No matter how attractive a future date may be or how interesting an opportunity with a friend sounds, say no. No. After all, saying yes is for people who aren't super busy like we are. So crush the goal of saying no to absolutely every opportunity, especially the ones which make you happy and feel worthy of love. Be so good at saying no that everyone just thinks you're happy being single and alone forever. So much so that they just stop asking altogether. Step five, always be on social media. Social media is the breeding ground for unrealistic expectations and fake relationships with hundreds of friends. So this is perfect. We want to feel like we're getting more connection by sending random photos of our face while we're eating dinner on the kitchen table, you know. So always being on social media will fortify this belief that being single is equivalent to being miserable. This will simultaneously and instinctively make you believe that relationships are bound to save you from your impending doom. This is the surest way to be single is no human will live up to your expectations of that in which you believe they should because they aren't Jake Peralta and Amy Santiago. Keep it in your pants, Santiago. Step six, never attempt to improve yourself. Subscribe to the idea that people cannot change, ever. You come out of the womb exactly how you are. So don't ever try to overcome obstacles or challenge your previous beliefs because there is no amount of new knowledge, self-care, or exercise that could possibly make you an interesting or lovable human being because you weren't born that way. In fact, subscribe to the idea that someone will solve all of your problems, but that personally definitely isn't you. Don't bother improving yourself because when that perfect person walks through the door, they will do it. They will change your character and eradicate your flaws because that's what relationships are meant for. Step seven, be comfortable at all times. Make your comfort zone what you do every single day. Only do activities in which you've done hundreds of times before. Don't concern yourself with trying to meet new people or try new experiences. After all, we're trying to be single here. If there's any chance we could grow or even meet the person in our dreams, then we cannot engage in that activity. 
Step eight, believe you are special. Have the belief that somehow you are just different to everybody else. Nobody's like you. Behave as if no one's as talented or unique or just as great as you are. Consistently reaffirm to yourself that you don't have to try and relate to other people or step inside their shoes because they're not worthy of you. They don't deserve to be in the presence of such a special human being. This will build a superiority complex where it will be difficult for people to connect with you and see you as a lovable person. But since we don't want any of that lovey-dovey stuff anyway, it, it works perfectly. Step nine, have an irreversible fear of rejection. Anything that you could possibly fail at, just don't bother doing in the first place. Don't bother trying to get that girls or boys or whatever number because it may not work, especially for some of us. It's called soul gazing. Oh, and become suspicious of every human being. See the world not as it is, but as a hideous oyster that is always trying to turn you into the miserable laughing stock. So if being single and miserable is what you're after, and you desire the daily reminder that you're an unlovable sack of meat, then you're in luck. Because follow this advice and you never get a girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever you're into. Whoa, uh, before you click up the video, I want to preface that I don't recommend to actually follow these tips. I think these are actually great tips if you want to actually become single. Um, but I don't think that many people would. But of course, if you do, then that's okay. So take this as a tutorial from a single man um, who doesn't have any experience with relationships. So he wanted to make a video about what he does have experience with, which is being single. Also, if anyone wants to um, come to my door and Give me a French wedge of cheese, you can. Uh, yeah. See you in the next video. <laughs>